It's been a bloody 2015 already on the streets of Northeast Denver. 17 murders this year, 12 of them have been gang related. For years, gang violence in this city has been on a low boil. But now more than ever, the police chief here says retaliation is the name of the game. You shoot me, I shoot you. You, you offend me, I offend you. And then, you know, as a multiplier, also I have to tell you social media. We smoke with that good guy tonight. Whether on YouTube or other internet sites, gang members are increasingly bringing their way of life and their grievances to social media. You're seeing individuals that are talking across platforms to each other. They're threatening each other. You're, you're seeing all of that on social media. Gaddafi from 1-5 Village Crip. It can be very extreme sometimes. So the idea that they're... David Pyruz has studied the social change, interviewing 400 gang members. I remixed that Crip so hard. He found they now treat the internet like a wall for electronic graffiti that boosts their brand. Boasting and bragging and really more standoff, reputation-based behavior that we think is fueling some gang violence on the street. It spreads the message wider. This is just digitized, formalized word of mouth. So it makes it easier to get a message out to larger numbers of people. Among those people are police who now regularly use social media to monitor gang members and build criminal cases against them, which makes the internet a bit of a double-edged sword when it comes to gangs. Then when they get caught, they think someone snitched on them. No one snitched on them, they snitched on themselves. Community yeah, activist Jeff Fard, better known as Brother Jeff, in. says while social media may encourage criminals and add fuel to the fire, in places like Denver, he argues, a much larger problem remains. If there were no social media, there would still be gang violence. How do we wrap our minds and our hearts around individuals who are neglected and feel like they need to strike out in negative ways because that's the only way they can be heard? We don't have to show respect to nobody. That's all us respect, man. That's the biggest challenge, he says, even in this socially connected world. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.